In Hebron, we have, in the old city, we have around 400 settlers, but they are protecting and supporting with around 1,500 soldiers. Each settler have at least four or five soldiers to protect and support him, and unfortunately, settlers themselves are armed people. They are civilian with, with weapons. We're in the only entrance into the old city. All the other entrances, there were very many, have been closed, and this is the only entrance into Hebron Old City now. And, and here, it's not a free entrance, as you can see, because you have to pass through these yeah. iron gates. Okay, you have to put the camera here. You can put it here when we exit, we can take it with us, okay? You're not allowed to come here. Okay, guys, the, so the commander said we have to move from here very fast. It's a checkpoint here. It's a command area, so we are not able to come and stay here. Because they are closed and they are uh, protected with the stones. Sometimes they have the box. Yeah. You can hear the call to prayer at the Abraham's Mosque, which is behind this Judaic gift center, which is playing Zionist music. Sometimes at a slow pace and sometimes at an ear cancer techno pace. But they don't even turn it off for the call to prayer. So these are like historic, yeah, these are historic Hebron songs, right? So these are all historic songs from Hebron, is that, is that the idea? Okay. Yeah, so about like, Hebron. About Hebron, yeah. So uh, these are all uh, Israeli singers? Okay. Yeah. 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 There's no Arab singers, no? Yeah. So Some of it is voluntary because, of course, there's nobody buying anything because people can't come here because of the closures. And some of it is actually closure by order of the military, and in that case, you find the doors are closed. Be prepared for revenge. Be prepared for what, sir? Be prepared for revenge. I am someone who has Thank you. Oh, yeah? Put her on line, please. Uh, <laughs> See how calm she is through it all? This is Aya. <laughs> And Saturday, we walk very fast here. We can't stay like this because every time they threw stones, there's the water from here. You can see the rubbish even here. Yeah. To the right here, we, nobody allowed to come and to enter this house. It's a military zone. That means nobody is allowed to go and to renovate or to inhabit this house. To the right. The idea is to expand this settlement to be here. Not allowing us to destroy this area. Claiming that.
One of the Israeli occupied area, they call it the Sibet Romano right now. They use it as a synagogue right now also. And another settlement is there, the white building there. You see the Israeli flag and the settlement, the white one. Part of the Al Shuhada street is here. Shops left and right, nobody allowed to open here by military order. Just only settlers and army cars can use this area. And we are here, we want to cross the other side. It just takes us two minutes. If we want to do it right now, we have to travel around 12 kilometers to circle around. 12 From 12 kilometers, you will see it in the presentation. Here. You get here, from the other side. How have you found the week? I found it uh, enormously shocking in one way, of course. But some at the same time also encouraging. Because I see that the resistance among the Palestinians is so strong, is so profound, so... Uh, there is a big hope. One, one can say that the Israelis have maybe taken everything, the land and everything, but they haven't taken the, the dreams from the Palestinians. And as long as the Palestinians have their dreams, they also have the fate in their own hands. So if I live, if I live a long life enough, I guess that with no doubt in my heart and in my mind, the Palestinians shall be free. Thank you very much. Thank you.